Hi everybody. So yesterday I had the opportunity to attend an event at Pentagon City Mall and it was held at the Carol's Daughter in Pentagon City Mall. It was to preview or get a closer look at the macadamia collection for Carol's Daughter. Um, the event was put on by the Divas Lounge and um, it was a really nice event you know, for champagne there um, it was uh, sponsored by Vita Coco so they had that on hand as well it was just like a intimate gathering it was after hours so it was the opportunity to talk directly with employees of Carol's Daughter to get more information about the collection um, to test the products and to mingle and network um, so I noticed while I was at the store that the Carol's Order that I came to know um, when I was in college in New York, I was introduced to Carol's Daughter and at that time she was still like more of a um, indie um, business owner, kind of like what you see on Etsy. It was all done by hand and out of her apartment or house, I believe she did it out of brownstone, and people would actually go to her home to purchase the products. <clears throat> it has since then evolved, you know, it's now has the backing of a lot of powerful celebrities such as Jay-Z, Mary J. Blige, Jada Pinkett Smith. They recently added Solange Knowles and Cassie as spokesmodels for the Mac Macadamia collection, um, which is a styling collection, and it consists of a styling foam, um, I believe a, sp a spray, like a hairspray, and a couple of other things. Um, I did not purchase anything from the Macadamia collection. Obviously, I don't need really hairspray. I have locks, so, but I did end up getting some items and we also got gifts for being in attendance. I was able to talk with the manager of Carol's Daughter whose name is Maverick and I was noticing that they have gotten away a bit from the body portion and it's a lot more focused on hair and he was explaining to me that it's because with body products and makeup women are more inclined to try a little bit of everything but with hair we are serious about our hair and we are faithful when we find something that works we stick with it so they noticed that um, there were a lot of repeat sales a lot of people coming back in the same thing so they started to focus more on that portion of the business um, I asked about the makeup itself because you know at one point they did have candy paints um, they have the my life um, scent, which is Mary J. Blige's scent, and they do have a few other things, like I used to be really, Groove was my scent for a long time. They no longer have Groove. There's even a Facebook page dedicated to bringing Groove back, and I was told that um, Lisa Price, who is the owner and creative of Carol's Daughter, um, has been paying attention to that, so maybe we can get Groove to come back. Um, in the store, I only saw Ecstasy, um, almond cookie which is one of their top sellers also and then I found a new scent called orange ambrosia so um, after I do this part of the video and show you all what I picked up you'll see some images from the event last night and um, so let's get into what I picked up <clears throat> it came in this lovely bag um, they were offering a discount last night, 15% off of all purchases. <clears throat> so, I picked up the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Curl Definer. And obviously, this is not for me, this is for my little one, my daughter. Um, I also picked up the I'm Power Shea Souffle in Almond Cookie and it is to benefit the Fawn Foundation which is Mary J. Blige's um, foundation and I'm not sure how many, um, you can see her signature right there, Mary J. Blige, 
proceeds from the sale of these mini souffles goes towards that foundation. For myself, I picked up the Tui Moisturizing Hair Oil. And this also comes in a spray, but the lady that I spoke to at the store was telling me that the spray is a lighter version and that this, um, people sometimes say, will weigh down the hair and my locks have a tendency to shrink up, to curl up. So I want a product that's a little bit heavier to help try to keep them from shrinking up. I also picked up the Orange Ambrosia Rollerball and it smells really good guys. This is what it looks like. And I just love it. It's a light scent, somewhat, somewhat sweet, but it has the bottom note is a woodsy scent, so it cuts the sweetness. I don't like scents that are too sweet. And they actually gave us a gift, which was also the Orange Ambrosia um, Shea Souffle. So I can layer my scents and get a better payoff from that. That was all I picked up. Uh, we also got a coupon for 20% off our next visit. And there you see Cassie, one of the new spokesmodels. So um, if you get a chance, definitely go check out Carol's Daughter, see the new products that they are offering, check out and see if they have some of your old favorites. Um, but definitely keep an eye out for this brand. It's still going places. It has not left. And they're doing good things for the community as well. So stay tuned for scenes from the event last night. And I thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. And for those of you who are not familiar with the Evil Life, we are a multimedia brand designed to connect females in a variety of excuse me, in a variety of industries. So we hosted several events in different um, in different venues. This is our first partnership with Carol's Daughter that we're very excited about. So if anybody in here is not already 